future of the streetcar project will bring much more life to downtown El Paso. As citizens await for the revitalization of downtown, Carl Jackson, the assistant director of streetcar operations at Sun Metro, believes that the streetcar will not only bring hope to downtown, but a new audience as well. The big hope is that they revitalize the downtown cores and some of the associated uh, neighborhoods. Because now, um, the people that are building these are thinking that this is a way to bring a new audience into downtown. The location of the streetcar will start at the Downtown Transit Center and come back around again on Santa Fe. It will consist of a north and a south loop with the connecting point being on Franklin. College mentor Jose Marquez tells about the benefits of the streetcar being more useful than other transportation methods. People would use, um, instead of using the, the bus, because there's a bus that goes through like the same street, so instead of using that, people would use that and I guess it would be a lot more like beneficial for them. Many El Pasoans immediately stop supporting the overall effect of the streetcar project due to the construction. I'm not a big fan of them, um, especially because of the construction. They did have to close down a few streets and that's really annoying. Although residents are upset about the construction, it's only a matter of time until it's over. We're actually right on schedule. Right, and not only are we on schedule for the construction, we're just a little bit ahead. The streetcars that were used in El Paso before 1974 will be the ones brought back to use today. It was such a timeless design, and they were so well designed, that they can actually be updated to 21st century standards. As soon as the streetcars reach completion, they will have the necessities that anyone would want in a streetcar. The streetcars right now are in Brookville, Pennsylvania, at a company called Brookville Equipment Corporation, and they're being completely rehabilitated. We're adding air conditioning and Wi-Fi. The experience that the streetcars will offer to anyone in El Paso is the opportunity to feel the nostalgia of the past while experiencing the new and innovative downtown. But I would try it out just to see what it, how, like, what it is and like, how I can like, experience it. Reporting for Journalism in July, Jasmine Zamora.